Hello and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we boosted uh, warm coats and shirts, and hopefully today we will get the warm or the cloaks boosted or set up and boosted, and then uh, we will be able to focus on putting in enough trains or enough train cars at least to get that happiness up to the elusive 5,000. It is trending upward. Um, if you've been watching the last few episodes, especially now that we've gotten into the food and the general store stuff, that's the lower tier stuff, we are trending a little bit upward. So we're just going to add a little bit of train action, and then we should be good to go. So I have torn apart and started a rebuild of the uh, of of the uh, the cloak area. For the cloak, we need to have eight farms. That's these farms growing grain. Uh, they need to be in this 34 tile layout. Um, just for um, just for balance and so we, I just copied that over from the other places we've done this we need to have four grain mills one supported by two farms and then we need to have four pastures with two upgrades each and so that's what I was just in the middle of figuring out and I decided that I needed to do the rest of this on camera so uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to have the uh, the shoots from this farm going in these farms rather going in like this and then the shoots from these farms here going in like this and then we can do a bit of a support here and put the second shoot from each farm into the same spot if it goes in the correct angle there into there like that and we're going to repeat that here and then what I want to do is actually move this pasture out just a couple more clicks, just so I have a little bit of wiggle room, I think. Uh, maybe just one. Yeah, let's go there. I want to put two of these right next to each other like this. And then I want one over here, and I want one here, but I need to extend out this terrain a little bit more. Push this all the way out there. One, two, three. That'll be okay. I think that'll work. Uh, we need to also figure out uh, water quantities here, but I want to uh, I want to start this out uh, at least with the basics. So then we're gonna have shoots coming out of this grain mill. We have two shoots each going straight into uh, these uh, what should we call it here pastures here, and then we'll do this like this. And so on. We'll need two upgrades on each of these. And so then, uh, normally this would produce four leather uh, because we're nearing the 100% mark. We did the two upgrades, so that's eight X, 800%. That's eight leather then, every eight seconds, which is one leather per second. We need a grand total of four, so we have four pastures. Each grain mill is supporting each pasture, so that's, uh, that's a good balancing act. And then, uh, so that means that we need to have, we're going to have uh, one leather. That means we need to have four water per pasture. And so for the water, I think we can just put that in. Let's see. Let's put that in. Actually, let's do one more thing here. Let's just do one one shoot here, and one shoot here, just so we have the uh, the spacing laid out. And then let's uh, let's figure out a layout here for for well. So in order to get four water, we need to have. Um, eight wells so this can be four wells for this pasture and then we can have four more wells for this pasture and then we just need four more and i think we might be able to just put some along here a little bit that might work out okay but i want to wait on that and maybe we'll do a little bit of reconfiguring in a moment i'm going to pause just to save a little bit of time and duplicate this let's actually also just show i'll just show also where i want to put the wells at and i'm going to put them like this this time uh, so I'm going to duplicate this, and I'll also uh, put down those initial water pipes between the wells and their destinations. And I will be right back. And welcome back. So I have connected up the wells to each of the farms, and have connected up the wells we've built so far to the pastures. And this one I actually probably should have been the one that I showed, not, not this one. This one was easier to do. But here I have two belts stacked on top of each other coming out of the first farm, and then two belts side by side coming out of the second. And that's because I needed to get those over those fields that extend into the center there. So that works out okay in the end. And why are you still not watering everything? Oh, you have. You have? That's fertilizer. The dark lines are fertilizer. 
right? And I wanted this all to get started as quickly as possible because I want to be able to uh, get through the affinity period for that grain as quickly as possible. So let's um, let's put up some belts for fertilizer. And I want these to come out. There are some shoots for fertilizer, rather. I want these to come out. Let's see. How do I want to do this? This is going to be the hassle part, I think. No, it'll be fine. Go out that way. And then I want you to come all the way this way. Oops, not what I wanted, Wally. There and there. And then this one's going to do the same. I've done that. And this comes out like this. There and there, I think that's correct. Oh, duh, I gotta keep going. There and there. And there and there. And then we can uh, put grabbers in and let the uh, fertilizer... Okay, good. I paused just in case because I'm still skittish about that feature, but it does seem to work more often now. And I guess I could have done it that way instead. And that'll get us the uh, fertilizer we need. Uh, splitters, I suppose, will be needed also uh, for these last bits here. And that's all the fertilizer we can have. So then we need to bring belts out and down here into the uh, workshop that's making the, uh, the cloaks. So with having it be four per second total, uh, we could probably still stick with the two metal belts. Actually, let me pull this out of the way, just so I can see where I'm going here. We're going to reconnect all this fertilizer. Because we're going to need it elsewhere, but... I think I can probably get by with... Maybe I should use two metal... Two, uh... Do this, so I don't get fertilizer out there. Leather, please. I Maybe mean, I should use magic belts, just to make sure that it's fast enough that the other one can sneak in there in time. And then go downhill. I don't know if that's going to be... work well or not. The, the merging of belts is not the most uh, logical thing in the game. So far it's draining out, we might have to just make changes later. Pause it again because I think that it's going to... Oh, it did. Okay. Seems a little bit wonky sometimes. And then we'll take this magic belt this way. I guess maybe if the belts are fast enough, it overwhelms anything you need. And that's sending cloaks back out for the first time in a while. Uh, and so then we need to also get this fertilizer out of here and out of here and out of here and spread it around a little there should be enough of a surplus out of this area to, to at least feed this um to at least feed these farms so what i'm going to do is take this one out uh after after this and then come this way back again and then i'm gonna take this one out here I want to go that way only. I want to do some pushers here. Oh, no, wait. They go this way and this way. You push to the side you want it on, Wally. Good job. And that's much higher than this was. So let's pull this out, some of these out, and we'll go this way to start with. Quite a few of those, actually. That's good. The fewer of these belts we have in the way, the better off we are, I guess. This can go across to right to there, and then those three belts will lift it up to the level we need it at. And then we're going to want to push her right there. But I'm going to wait for a moment on that because I think I want to fix this. I think I'm going to just take this down like that. Is that right? No, that is not right. Okay, let's try that again, Wally or game and then this pusher will go here so that it sends the uh the whatchamacallit the the fertilizer uphill here first 
and then it'll go down into the train station. Uh, we do not have any up here. Oh, we do have some up here. So this should come out of here. And again, with a uh, pusher that sends it this way. And I think I can just roll that on down the hill into the train station. We shouldn't need it up here, possibly. Hmm. Although, it also wouldn't hurt to supplement that. Uh, let's put in, put in a support here. Uh, but I'm going to have to go up and over and over to there. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, I think. This might not be... F yeah, it might not be good enough. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, not even close. Can I go here? Or am I still not even close? One more. Okay. Well, I know what I can do to that. Then I think... Take that down. Put the support up there. Bring this this way. Yes. And then take this up. And... You know what I'm going to have to do... Wait, are those on level 2? Zero, one, two, yeah. So we need to go up to three, four here, plus also the, uh, whatchamacallit's there. And then we'll come across from there to about here, maybe. And then that connects up swimmingly. And then I can take this out. That works. And then this can come over again, I think that far. Take one of these out. Actually, we don't need these across the top at all. They can be shoots again. This comes out and then turns like that. This comes across there. And then we just reverse this belt as an elevator. And we want the pusher to go this way. And it's slower than the chute, which is fine. Uh, but at least it gets it in there and gets it supplementing. And then this can just come on downhill. And ideally into the station somehow. Well, that'll work. Works for me. And then finally, we need to get... We could take the fertilizer out of this up to the station. I don't know if it's actually necessary, but it also wouldn't hurt. So maybe we just come out with these straight out. Uh, let's see, where are we going? We'll come out to this side, maybe. Uh, and then this one also. Okay. Thank you. Uh, pushers again, of course, here and here. And then this is going to have to take a ride uphill. We have to come up and over the, uh, the generator here. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's good. Yeah, we'll do that one. Let's go down from here. I'm on the wrong spot. Oh, well, that's good. Then I don't have to go up that high. <laughs> Uh, let's just take, actually, let's just take belts down or out from here a ways. And then... That'll work. These can go up to there. These can come out and become chutes. This goes across to that one. And then these go across and into there. And that gets us that fertilizer to send around to the rest of the base where we don't have pastures. And did I not output that correctly? I did not. There you go. Sorry about that. But I think that will work. So the next step is to apply the boosts. And I have not wedged any boosts in here yet. We're probably going to do a little bit more terraforming for that. But these will be at least easy to start on, I hope. These need to be up close this way, because they need to be out of range of that. We need four earth boosts here that I should have done one and copied, because one of these days I will learn now that we are almost done with the game. We'll do the same thing on this side. We need to also get uh, air boosts in here for these, though. Let's just do shrine instead. That way I can do this right. 
Uh, maybe here would be okay? As in out of the way of these? Yeah, I think we'll have to do it like here and here. That first. Copy this one. Uh, these can go... That's not what I did. Well, that is what I did, but it's not what I meant to do. These can go here. We have a little bit more room for the two over here now. Okay, thank you, lag. There. And then down here we need some of the same, I think. Uh, what did I just do? Nothing. Although this might need to be boosted a little. Uh, let's double check this. We well, we don't need the extra workers here anymore, or here anymore. That was that was from before. Uh, but we might need to add some shoots here and such. I think we actually will need additional shoots. Let me just go ahead and do those now. And then we need earth shrines down here. Could put them there. Is that level? It is level. Okay. These, okay, thank you. I think that was autosave lag this time. Two of those, and then we need air boosts on these. Yes. All three of them? Yes. So we'll just do three air boosts right around in here if I come up with a level that I like. Maybe like that. Okay, I keep moving too fast. Like that. And then uh, I'm going to have to do some terraforming to get the uh, rechargers in here. And so I think that's something that I should also do off camera. So I will be right back again. And welcome back. I have fed in all of the, um, all of the stones. And I have put up all the squigglies except for, oops, I missed that there to let those run through. So everything should be ready to go to start the boost up. So let's get those started. Uh, let's see here. Earth, of course, on all the farms. That gives us 16 total worker equivalents. One worker plus one boost per farm. Uh, and that's how many we needed. Uh, and then four grain mills need air boosts. And that gives us a total of uh, 16 feed per second. Going into four already up. No, they're not actually. Upgrade twice. Did I not do one of them? Okay. I did, I did two of them. I didn't do all of them. Into four doubly upgraded pastures. And then that goes down here, and then we have uh, earth boosting of these. And then we need to have air boosting of these. And the final uh, cloak workshop. So now this should be completely full and, and outputting completely, and it is. And it stays full, it fills up before it uses, that's what we need, okay thing, go away. It stays full and that's what we needed, we needed it to stay to, to not ever lose any. Although we might be suffering a little bit on the leather front. And then the same thing here with the cloth and the cotton. Uh, let's see. Leather is... Oh, struggling under water, right? Um, huh. Well, I think we can put them downhill. Because the water level doesn't actually matter. Let's flatten this out. And make sure this one here is at the same level. And we need four more of each of these. So let's just do like this. And take advantage of the fact that the water pipe level is the same regardless of what the actual terrain is. I almost forgot about those. It's a good thing I checked all the functionality. Drink up, folks. Okay, so that should fix that problem now. Uh, so let's see. You are filling up on grain fast enough? Wait, did I only put one grain shoot in? I did. Man. Molly is slacking today. Let's go in there. 
Because these are full. And they're full of water and they, they're, they're outputting the leather fast enough. These are filling up on grain now and they're outputting the leather fast enough. Now as long as... It doesn't look like it's going to because the belts are fast enough that we don't have a backup. Um, the metal belts might have been a little bit too much of a backup. Forcing too much of a backup. And then the second one might not have output enough because of the contention. But since the metal... The, these aren't... Oh, these aren't fast enough because this is the crappy side. Um, but so as long as these two are working well, then we're fine. This just needs to get that affinity up. These are in mostly in the original affinity or half in the original affinity. So they're going to have a lot more production uh, than, than the ones on this side. They're all brand new. But I think that covers this completely. So what I want to do for the last bit of this episode is start looking at what are we missing. And I want to have to pause in order to do this. Um, do we have... We have stars left? Why do we have stars left? Well, let's do uh, growth crop yield. Well, it's not going to make it, but... Uh, these all need to be reversed too, but I haven't done that, and I guess I should, but it's they're there, so it's fine. Uh, let's start with the food market first. Well, we have no backup supply at all. It looks like we definitely we definitely need to increase the eggs. Those are the lowest tier item uh, that you take to the food market, that we're taking to the food market. They're only a tier one, so we need to have up to five of those per second. And given how far away the egg farm is, uh, train route-wise... Uh, we're going to need to add a few wagons to that train. Uh, the same thing with the um, with the bread. Uh, we need to add at least one wagon to that to that as well. Let's see where that train might be though. If it's on its way back, that'll help us judge how many wagons we actually need to add. Oh God, it's here! It hasn't even made it halfway yet. I think. We should change this train to be all bread. And then add another one for all eggs, because that one might even need to be six long. And that's uh that's bad. Well it's not bad, but it's extensive. Let's just do uh yeah, that there. We'll start with four. Make it all egg. And let's see how that works out, if it works any better. Let's take a look again. Fish is almost there. Uh, fruit and vegetables we need to add to. Those are, yeah, those are only tier two, so that makes some logical sense. The same thing with milk. The milk is showing, well, the milk and butter train could have just come and gone, I suppose. Hmm. No, this is the milk and butter train right here. I mean, yes, it, the milk does store 100, whereas the butter only stores 50, but... It should be being consumed a lot faster, because butter's a tier 5. Well, let's double the fruit and veggie train, which is here. Uh, maybe we'll just add one of each to it. This might not work, but uh, let's see. Fruit, uh, well, it's got to be berries. And was it carrots? Yeah. We'll see if that helps enough. I don't know that it's going to. It's probably not. We might need to break that train apart. Uh, eggs, and then let's add a, one more wagon to the cooked fish. And I think that's mostly just because of the distance. Well, cooked fish is a three, so that makes some sense. Let's see if we can find that guy. There's fish stew. Cooked fish is here, right? Yeah. Well, cooked fish might be coming right back in. On the outer, outer rim here. Here we are. Cooked fish and... Oh, I have four wagons on cooked fish, and that's not enough. That's a potential problem. Alright. 
You know what? Actually, might be a better option to upgrade is all these these rails. Maybe I should do that uh, before we had too many more cars. I think those were going to be essential, and maybe some of the ones in the general store. Also, nails and leather specifically, maybe shoes. And maybe more than that. Maybe most of the stuff in the general store, but probably nails and leather. Although leather is okay. Uh, that is the water ring. Let's add. We're gonna definitely need more nail cars. Let's go ahead and add those in. Nails are the two in the middle. To add a couple more box cars, I think. And this might get. Actually, you know what? Let me delete. Let me delete the shoes, cars back here. And then we'll make these into shoes, even though I see that, uh, now let's just delete those. It'll be fine. Shoes and shoes. And then we'll add another separate four length train for nails. Thank you. Add it here. Go. Let's see where else we might be lacking here. That's okay. We could maximize this, but I think the rails might help with that one. It's really just these ones that are hurting a lot. Let's look at the apothecary next. Air ether. I know air ether is a problem. We need to go figure that out. And then cake. Why is cake a problem? We should have millions of cake. That's not cake. This is cake. Why are we suffering so badly here? Jam? Or is it still the tree thing? We need two separate shoots for, for apples. Okay, let's disconnect this one. And that one. I want to take this one this way. And into there. Oops, let's take that out first. Go there. You can go this way. This goes... No. This goes like this-ish. And then like that. Just not enough throughput, I think, with the with the mixing together to get the apples through well enough. Now that we have some affinity here, we're up to 32%. I think that'll do it. And we are almost keeping up. We might even need two shoots per uh, orchard or uh, tree forester. That's what they're called. We're not getting enough. Yeah, we're not getting enough through. We're going to have to add another set of shoots. Let me um, make a couple of changes here to the support arms. And then let's do this. I'm also going to need to make changes here, so let's just take all of this out here. Now, I want you to go that way first, and then come this way. That'll work. Okay, so let's see. I want to make this one turn sooner. Take that out again. And then I want it to go into side here. Oh crap. I clean these out, but not enough. Well. Okay, and then this one can come out here. Make this turn, and then make that turn. That's not going to work. 
Not gonna work at all. This goes this way then. We'll get it eventually. Always do. Those out. This goes here. This one goes... There. And then this one goes there. And into there. And then finally, this one goes like this. And that should finally be enough apples. Jamming enough of them in there. We are making... We're making jam at the fastest we possibly can. We have a surplus of everything now, which is good. Uh, we're keeping up, that is, with everything. And the jam is still outputting at the, at the recommended speed, which is two per second, which is perfect for a metal belt. And, uh, yeah. So that should make cakes a little bit better now. Hopefully. Jam is still the problem, though. But we need exactly that much jam, so... I think it's just a... No, there's still a shortage. Did I screw the math up somewhere? Every 10 seconds. I did screw the math up somewhere. Let me look at my recipe for cake. Berry cake. Jam is made at a rate of four per second or we need four per second um the kitchen's making jam i said one kitchen fire and steam boosted this is making two per second not four oops oops indeed okay so these two should be going Here, did I do the rest of the math correctly? 16 apples. Yeah, I did the rest of the math correctly. I just need to have two of these uh, that are fire and steam boosted, which means I need to have one more fire. Um... Well, we'll just put this here. I need to have one more uh, f fire uh, thingy here, fire shrine here. I'll have to figure out how I want to lay this out. But let's, um... Let's change the sugar. Means I need to get down under here. Like that. And then we need fuel in here, of course. Hopefully there's enough here for this. For one more. I assume there probably is. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, there's plenty here. And then where can I fit in another fire boost? Possibly right in here. Possibly. As long as this doesn't overlap with anything else that needs to be fire boosted. That might work. If I could bring this out further this way, which I can. This one needs to come out here. Oops. And that's no longer fast enough. That needs to be a, a magic belt here now.
And we'll have to see if that's even going to fit or if I'm going to have to do a, something different. Put those down. I'll need to get some fire stones up here, but I think we have them nearish by. Yeah, we have some right there. Uh, so I think I will finish this part off screen, off camera, and then we'll come back in the next episode and we'll uh, look some more at the trains. I'm going to do this boost here and I'm going to upgrade at least the primary runs to magic rails. And then we will see what happens next time. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you then. Bye for now.